Okay, here we are. I think I was saved after doing some raids. So let me switch up my team. any time let's go wait a second there's a Pokemon Center I've never been oh right I've never been in this place either before oh this is where you find Gumi and Wooper I was so tired doing raids I forgot I even made it here This. this is where you find Zangoose. I was wondering. It's like one of the Elite Four must have a Zangoose and it's super strong or something. I really want a shiny Tad Bulb. This is where you find them. Okay. Item. We still have more stuff with Director Clavel. 
Let's see if we can finish Director Clavel's thing in this school. And then we'll continue. I'm such a tease, aren't I? I don't know, I think Tezzy has the tease down for the pictures that he sends. Thank you for your visit, Miss Suzu. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. You mean Clive? <laughs> I'll leave their identity to your imagination. Oh, you were supposed to do those before that. Oh, you can't think of anything? Oh, I'm pretty sure I could show you something. But now, lest I forget, there's another matter I would very much like your opinion on. Do you know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? Uh... Long. Oh, is that so? I suppose I have indeed seen some of the academy's male students sporting such a style. Could it be, then, that the pompadour has already had its day in the sun? Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wig. <laughs> oh, that is to say, never mind. <laughs> Thank you for in your insight. It was most enlightening. You feel trusted. <laughs> Supposed to do that before. Oh. Of course, he's back in his office and you can't re-talk to him. Okay, my nose is really stuffy, so... I should get rid of that first. Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. I know she is exceedingly grateful to, to you for your part in all this. So I have one more thing to ask of you. Though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature, do you think you could continue being friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? I must say, I truly am glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you've more than earned this small token of my appreciation. He's given me money. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> if only every school director or principal gave you a piece of gold that you could sell for 50k. Schools make enough money they can they ha they get budgets and then they use it on stupid stuff like statues and shit when they could just you know give a piece of gold to students like here here's your allowance for college I hope that you will always just stay just as wonderful as you are now Miss Suzu Formed a close bond. Nice. Is that it? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go blow my nose. I'll be right back. Okay, now to area zero. I was gonna say, like, what is that? Tempted to go from and fly in. Wait, is it up here? Yeah, it is. Oh, shoot. There it is. Oh shoot. Oh. I was like, why is spaghetti level 63? They're not. Hey, over here. I totally want to fly in. <laughs> D 
This is the zero gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Miraidon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home? E.T. phone home? Whoa, kind of dark in here. Nimona. Hola, Suzu. I've been said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she'd get to battle all some Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Penny got it up and running. Well, now the lights are on. But why? I I turned them on. Oh, I love it. It seems like they were on power saving mode. She's just like Futaba from Persona 5. This could have been a Persona 5 game. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. It's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess? My name's Penny. Well, hey! We never got to actually talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling, too? Uh, you talk, like, way too much. The director in introduced us when you need when you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here uh, also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Suzu. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Suzu, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. That's old-fashioned? No wonder people these days can't keep their word. <laughs> and of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My loves include my mabustive and cooking and biometric and identification in progress. Hello, Suzu. I have been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad. Probably. Or wait, is it Prawley? What? That's the professor, Tur Turo? Nimona, student ID number 805C001, and Penny, student ID number... 803B121 I thank you for coming Of course, Professor! Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person! I mean, not in person exactly Arvin, did you, uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To 
begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see to your right. Um, Dad? Please proceed below. Aren't they not on good terms? Must not be. Eddie. Okay. She should have stopped with the Pokemon battling stuff after the championship. Even Penny. Like, Penny's not constantly talking about Team Star now. So, it's like, move on with the character development. We don't need more from Nimona about Pokemon battling. Oh right, we're inside somewhere, so of course we can't change the camera around. In Professor Turo's lab, there were books that we could read. I just figured that out by watching someone else. Excuse me. So if you're in here, are you... Oh, you're stuck in here for good. spacesuit or anything? <laughs> Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. It opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above Area Zero. Suzu, you have brought Miraid on with you. What if I say no? I do not believe that can be the case. I, I, I identified its biometrics at your current location. If you will utilize Miraidon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Miraidon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is un uneventful. Railroading people into stuff just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. That girl, is she... Like, incapable of fear, or what? Uh, how are they getting down? I guess we'd better go, too. Now this. A lot of containers here, but it's not clear what they're for. This is what I was thinking of. No turning back now. What? But you told me to bring out Miraidon. Suzu, ready? Suzu, ready for the worst? No. Well, we're waiting on you. Just say the word as soon as you're ready. Then looking down from the top of the lighthouse.
Are they all going to ride Miraidon with me? Good. That's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Can Miraidon fit all of us? Uh-oh. What's the matter with it? Hm. <laughs> Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Wait, what about me? Get on! Oh no. <laughs> Why do I get to be carried like this? Miraidon can't fly necessarily. Wow. This looks like Breath of the Wild. Did we just enter Zelda? And now I'm back here again. <laughs> I think I might have died once or twice there. Maridon does not like it. It chose to go back into its ball. It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? What? She's gone. I don't think she... A everyone, you have to see this. Uh, Area Zero is amazing. Come on already. I guess your ability... I guess your ability would be on Tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition sa satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Huh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? Well, that is good. I had concerns you might fail, even the crudeness of the only available access method. Given the crudeness, I think I said it even. Hmm? You think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing? Aw, you were worried about this? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to, ma to me at the... Zero Lab, in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were construct constructed inside the crater. Each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Did Pokemon just break the fourth wall? Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part. Of area zero. Oh no, my, 
There's giraffe rig here? Wait, are they actually following me? Holy crap. There's Ferrigerath! Can't ride me ride on here, I figured. Oh, oh, the music just kicked in and scared me. Are the Pokemon, like, domesticated? Because they're not attacking me. Oh! This is some alien music. What the hell? <laughs> Bruh! Is it because I have a party of four? Gotta get a picture. Are there any Pokeballs just lying around? Bruh, this is beyond Pokemon. The music is beyond Pokemon. Crystal lies trees. Are these fake trees? So, this is the end. How'd it get? Where'd my ride on go? Seems like it got spooked by something and it's hiding it. It's not good. Can we even get back up to the? I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They should always come through if you're a real sob story. Why didn't you call the professor if he's down here? None of your business, Pip Squeak. Jeez, no need to bite my head off. What are you? Okay, come on, you two. This. Wow. Whoa. Oh, it's just like the terrestrialized crystals. Bruh! This is huge! Let me fall off. Corvanite? Oh, they're not even showing us the map. There are items in here. But all Pokemon will just stay. Leaf Storm is a TM? Oh wow. Pokemon will move, but they will not attack. Or they will. Maybe. Probably saw the group and was like, nope. Bruh. This might be the best climax of any Pokemon game. Just for the final area. Alone. Naughty Mint. Weasel. Huh? Wait, is it because I ran into him? The water isn't deep here? Oh, they will attack. Okay, I was thinking like they were domesticated here. Hydro Pump is an ATM? Move Namona. Nemona. What? Jesus.
Golduck does not give up. Wait, that's the music? It just starts over and over? There's a Raichu here! That's stuck in the wall! Arvin? Arvin! Where are we supposed to go if we can't go any further? Baby, bruh. See, we've already seen all the new Pokemon. Besides what's in area zero. This is where they needed to add a few more new Pokemon. We can walk through a waterfall I call shenanigans. Where are we supposed to go then? Braviary? Holy crap, that's scary. What? Because I went into the waterfall? What was that? Wait, it's from the beginning of the game. Did me right on escape from here and that's why it doesn't want to come back? How'd you wind up? I guess she just, wait, friends with Susan anyway. Well, uh, I guess she just really, school was a mess and my friendship so did it. Susan was big help getting, so she helped while she was. What about you then, Nomona? And our classmates, neighbors. So now I've got a champion. God, the text goes by so fast. see a shiny giraffe rig I'm putting it on my team 
from here. Ah, ah! I didn't even see it. <laughs> it scared me. Talon flame? What? Oh no. I'm going around. Did I lose them? Frickin' Corviknight. Send out your Pokemon, and it's like no joke this time. Turo has to be an alien or a robot or something. That's not the real Turo. The way he's acting. It's just like Lusamine, which was really good. I love Gen 7, even though I never completed Ultra Sun. There's the first one, okay. Well then we'll have to continue going further down. I am experiencing everything I can find here. Uh-huh. Told you. It would be much cooler if the Pokemon actually were, like, somewhat domesticated before you finish the game where they just stare at you because those first moments when they were just staring at you was freaking scary. What if this is like a Pokemon preservation place? Oh, I bet that's where, what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what were they called? Radish station ra rations? Research stations. Well, I was close. Oh, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Hey! Shreen! Oh! Yeah, what the heck is that? That's a Pokemon um, Premiera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Suzu, let's take it on together. What? Is it like a... Titan? They're treating it like a Titan. Sixty-two? Frick. I keep thinking ice is good against rock, but it's not. Whoa!
Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here? You think? You think that was something? Please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero is. Wow. Patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. We still don't have a map yet. I thought those were executes at first. Wait, I wanted the item. Is that no bright powder is not I'm thinking of something else yeah there's an item there ancient ruins they look far too recent for that it appears you have reached your first research station without incident this facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way way station for those surveying area zero so that's why there's a bed looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need, need to Suzu, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Shouldn't it be Penny? Press the button to disable. Oh. It's just a button. You heard the professor. Better press it. Lock disabled. Three of four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Arvin knows that's not his dad. talk there was an item there no mildewy oh shoot There's a teleporter. I'm going back in for the teleporter. Nomona got stuck in there. Oh, it is. It is a teleporter. I was right. Worth it. Okay, now we get on with it oh they were saying something they were saw my dad in my whole life is that time for backstory reveal he was always busy with work hardly ever came home cooked for myself and my boasted was really close yeah 
Didn't really know my daddy. Trying to just be proud. I had a dad who was there. Unless you can't see him. Lots of emails, but they stopped. Some family, right? Oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. Sorry about earlier, I shouldn't have snapped at you. No, I was also giving you a hard time. Aww. That's the spirit you two have. Oh, <laughs> It's the scions of the seventh Pokemon den. I don't know. It's done. Okay. I'll check at the next base. Oh! Stupid for baby. Holy, there's so much. Okay, I'm going back. <laughs> there's too much to explore. Pokemon seem to spawn much better in this area as well. Sweet, we can just make it over here by this. Oh, they couldn't make it. <laughs> well, we lost our friends. Oh! There they are. I was trying to go to see my dad. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I'd never seen before. Oh, really? What kind of Pokemon was it? it wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this cre Metallic! What? It was a Metallic! Oh, right, because we're in. I'm thinking I'm in Scarlet. No, did we lose the story? Hurt my bus stiff real bad, so it's not like. I never want to run into that awful thing. That's what I figured you'd say.
Where's Penny? She's stuck on a rock. What are you doing? Just a cave full of Chansey? <laughs> They're running into wall. <laughs> They're trying to do the wall glitch. They finally did it. Ah! That sounded like a scream with the echoing. That's it's crazy. Scary. this way. Is there even a third legendary? If you have to catch all, there's four other legendaries and they're all locked behind doors. What's the third one to me ride on and cry on? That's what this has to be leading up to, right? Oh, Volcarona is just here. I know Volcarona has a paradox form. It actually attacks. I want to see a green Espeon, please. Penny, catch the Espeon. It's better than the Pokemon you had. <laughs> oh, there's one of the labs. Holy crap. Garganackle is just here. Be careful, bud. You're going to fall off. Rudolph, the blue nose rain or draft deer. The second research station, about time, too. Head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. 
Oh! Hey, look! A Jellybird! It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. That's not a deli bird. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. You're gonna get z zapped. D? D -d 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 bird! Oh, what the? Ah! Suzu, it's battle time. Come on, you better battle with me. Here's your Flareon. She uses Umbreon, of course. What? Jelly bird. Oh my gosh! Was that ice punch? Freeze dry. Oh my gosh! It's not steel type. Or ice type. What the heck? Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was kinda... It was definitely kinda mechanical looking for a Tillybird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Pokedex has been updated. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously? What's with this place, that Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. We, as we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded. Forcing oh yeah, we read this already. Member of the survey team captured this photograph. Yeah. Nothing of its iron treads, huh? Monsters of Area Zero? So they are actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Suzu? I think they really are just Pokemon. I don't think they're regular Pokemon. Their past and future Pokemon. Regular as in present Pokemon. Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different, at least, and I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you all. Yet that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day. We have yet to see. It is past and future, wow. 
future Pokemon. What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no p way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. What? He just drops it? Like that? It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing, so the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working. Indeed, though the cost was ca catastrophic. The cost. But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for being such as but being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying! Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Of and I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. He's stuck in the future! No way! Now then, Suzu. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. He's speaking to us from the future! That's my guess, anyway. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Suzu. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like, everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. What? Can I read it? Record of the expedition that the author, Hel Heath, went on within the great crater of Paldea. The book has name has the name Turo written on it in clumsy handwriting. Take care of me. Take care of it for me. Okay, Suzu. You can see illustrations and notes from a long ago explorer of Area Zero. Oh, come on. Bruh. It just can't. But then who? Huh, I think Arvin's thinking that it's not actually his dad. From a whole different era. <laughs> I'm so glad I... Oh gosh. Sun and Moon was anxious. I mean, alien Pokemon. This one is past and future Pokemon. What are your parents like, Nomona? My parents normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He is on the board of... Aw, oh, come on. 
Of the Rotom Phone Company? Oh, that's her dad. Everyone knows that. He's famous, and I guess... So Nomona's actually some pampered little princess. <laughs> Look, no. Oh, come on. So, yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were, like, hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over the business. Wait, call him mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Penny, what is your fam? My, my family is unbelievably <laughs> annoying. Super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy. Makes up weird nicknames. Pen Pen? <laughs> Don't you dare take his side. How about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her? Got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. Wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. We gave it to Miraidon. If the music is the same in Scarlet, then I chose the right game, I'm sorry to say. Like they need to make the music fit. And this sounds so futuristic. The music needs to sound more prehistoric. Like Jurassic Park style. Oh, Masquerade, I thought that was one of the... Where is this gonna take me? What? I'm not gonna... It might screw something up. <gasps> Excuse me. Bruh, the drums. The Volcarona is still. They're not going to give us any future Pokemon yet. That was almost hard to see. There's a Pokeball all the way over there. Palmo is here. Corvinite. Corvinite. It's 
supposed to go through the water, or is that where we came? Shoot. I forget where we came from. I think the crystal is where we came from, so we keep going. I feel like I've already been here now. By sharp is here. This sharp. Oh no. This is new. They need to make a counterpart to Pawniard, Bisharp, and King Gambit. Where it's like... Pawniard evolves into like, what's the opposite of a... I can't get up there without me right on. What? Like, what's the opposite of a Bishop? A a rook? Yeah, a rook. Like instead of bis sharp, it's rook car rook rook cuts or something like that. And then queen gambit. But they'll never do that. Wait, there's nowhere else to go from here. Oh, you can evolve your fish up here as well if you want. Which way did we come from? We came from the waters, so let's go this way then. <gasps> Any of you shiny? No, you're all orange tails. Ah. Oh. Does this take us back? Yeah, I think so. Another dead end, though. Where am I supposed to go? See, I was thinking it was linear, but now it's like... Hold on. I just went off the path.
Back to the water. So confused. Water stones are here. I don't know if I've caught, used, or found water stones elsewhere. I guess we go this way? I'm so confused as to where I came from. Did we come from up there? There's a Pokeball up here. Comment. I have been seeing some lag spikes, so I better save. Just in case. Oh, do we have to go through a cave? How did it? I don't even know how I got here. Oh, the lab is up there. Holy crap, how did I get here? All right, another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? It's a Dawn fan that. Oh, it makes sense that. Yeah. See, see? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along? Well, you've battled one of these before. Marvin, he looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Suzu and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. I should totally bring my Dawn Treads. Don't use Greedence. Oh, he does use my Bolster. Why doesn't the other two use their A's? This is so cool. Shoot. 
shoot, I have nothing for steel type. Well, besides Thancred. Water Terra Blast. I should switch some someone for Dawn Treads. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of those po these Pokemon before a crater get-together? Jealous. Uh, if we've got things from the literal future roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Tura doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Yeah, right, because it's not like uh, oh so brilliant Professor Turo ever messes up. Come on, Suzu, let's get into that research station. Because part of me wants to bring Dawn Treads because I want to see if Turo says something about it. The only one I feel like switching. It would make sense to t swap to zeros because it's a double. Well, these two as well. But Urianja has a different Terra type. Uh, yeah. Muscle band, yeah. That'll work. Wait, what level? 63? Yeah, let's get you to 63. Wild charge? Holy. That would be great. Knockoff isn't actually useful at the moment. The target has an item, but yeah. Wild charge, holy crap. To, to station number three. How are you doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Mm -hmm. Are you feeling rough, Penny? Huh? Oh, no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Miraidon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also from one of those future Pokemon? Huh. 
I think you're onto something, and it's kind of giving off future vibes. Even its name sounds futury. Well, it does mean riding into the future. Me ride on. Mirai is future, and then ride on. Wait a sec. I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Mirai Dawn's ball, and you told us uh, its forms in the first place. Told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Uh, uh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice, then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Miraidon, that is. It was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor! Miraidon, which I entrusted to Suzu, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously. Though, through an analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclozar. Mm-hmm. The Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look li look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Miraidon. More than two? Huh. Huh, you mean... There's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be re reunited with Army Ride on. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah. That sounds nice. If we could proceed, Suzu, please disable the next lock using the central panel there. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. want to be together t again, right? Miraidon's a future Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it. You've got to let me battle Miraidon right now. Um, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the future myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my dad brought home all of a sudden. We all lived at the lighthouse. My dad made me a promise to keep it a secret, Ned. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day Miraidon just went nuts. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it. 
took it and went back to your zero. I guess that makes sense if it's a Pokemon. People found it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my dad or Miraidon again after that. Looking back on it now, it seems stupid. Felt like I lost because of Miraidon. I just hated Miraidon and everything about it. Yeah. Uh huh. Shoot him. Be sorry. Shoot. That's like. Yeah. You guys are harsh. So, hmm. In Sword, you still got to see the le the other legendary or shield or whatever. So I wonder if the other one is Coridon. Or if you get to catch So the Miraidon that you catch isn't the same as the Miraidon you're right on. Oh, now we see the Deli Bird. Iron Bundle. Excuse me. It's super effective? What type is it? Water type? Something flying? Then why would... Grass be super effective. There's Glimora here. <coughs> it's using water type moves. It has flip turn. Oh my. What the heck? I'm gonna see if Ice Shard can lower it. It's not effective? Is it Rock type? I no longer need Rain Dance. So I can change that. Well, that's another thing. I don't have a Water type on my team. Oh my. Does not want to be caught, huh?
I want a ball that matches it. That's why I'm trying to throw great balls at it. Throwing ultra balls and everything is not my style. Told you. Got some level ups. Ice water. Oh, that makes sense. Resembles a mysterious object mentioned in an old book. There are only two reported sightings of this Pokemon. Well, the other one better be shiny. <laughs> Iron Bundle. Dang. Comes after me, right? Dawn Treads? Oh, right, I was gonna see what moves I could teach you. It's special, though. No way Meow Skarada can learn chilling water, are you serious? How? I guess it's a magician, that's why. 78 special attack? Yeah, right. Chilling water can be learned by Meow Skarada. That is so crazy. What can it? Hmm. Because it is kind of a support Pokemon at the moment. But I can't really learn a lot of support moves either. I'm thinking substitute, but that doesn't really help. Defense stat. I think Heavy Slam might. Well, we already have a Steel type. So I was thinking. Water. Yeah.
What was that? Oh, glimmets are here. I already caught one. Glimora. Still think I should have evolved more. There's the final one encased in crystal. Oh my gosh, and look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere, waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. <laughs> Double meaning there. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Oh. Yeah, this place is like something of a from a whole other world makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere is it just me or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize there's got to be some sort of connection only one way to find out come on everybody let's keep moving We've got to go all the way down. There is a connection, just like Mega Evolution. Another one! There is the Dunspires here! I was wondering, can you just find a random three-segmented the Dunspires? Wait. Glimora stick themselves in the walls like that. Oh, that is cool. I thought that was a different new Pokemon. <laughs> He's Glamora. Another one of you stuck on the side there. That's funny. Another Deli Bird. Iron something. Iron Bundle, that's right. Protecting this Pokemon? That's an Ice Shard, I see. So Miraidon came to our age, through, then it lived here a while, while the, the Professor. Seems to be the story, don't attack me. So he brought it back home some, or kind of, or it, I guess this place should be familiar to it, sure. That's great, a chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. It doesn't exactly vibe with how doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon, really. I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. Who said it was scared of heights? Given how me ride on who was acting earlier, I think happened here. Something. Uh, let's just hide away. Aw. Got hurt down here, just like my ball stiff. Can't be for sure. So I think it's possible. Make it feel better. I'm not just saying that, because I super want to battle. Seriously. You're kind of unbelievable in most.
in a mostly good way. There's still a two segment. Where is the, th oh my, that's a giant crystal. It looks like there's a door to it as well. I know you can't fall, but getting close to the height scared me. Oh my, family of Gabite and Gibble. Dreepy. That's leading down to that big crystal. They're not stopping me? Interesting. This one's overtaken by Crystal. And it's shut off. Well, what happened he here? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Yeah, Professor, y you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello, child, children, and, and chil child, and, and children, and, and children. Initiating restart. <laughs> Th 
The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird at least. Almost like, I don't know. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. <laughs> you expect me to press a button in here still? We didn't have to battle a Pokemon. Oh, it was only three, of course. Okay. Before I press this button, because it's going to be a big thing, I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay, so it wouldn't make sense for Turo to be a robot. He has to be in the future because in Scarlet you can't have the Sada be a robot either. So they're probably stuck in the future and past, respectively. That that was almost like no it can't be. Some ferocious Pokemon battled here. Press the button to disable one of the locks on the Zero Lab. You know what you need to do, better press it. All locks disabled. Oh, 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 hello. Can you hear me now? Please f f f give me my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero.
I love it. I'm getting so many vibes from this persona. This whole thing feels like a palace within Persona 5. And then that place just sounded like something out of Resident Evil. There was something definitely something off about the professor. Maybe it was just some little dramatic flair. What? That got you jazz? Maybe even big time jazz. Need to go see a doctor. That's just not right. See, I'm pretty sure that was call was really um never mind, it's nothing. It's wrong, Arvin. You seem kinda down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through, Suzu. Oh boy. I love it. If this all happens in Scarlet, I'm glad I played Violet first because it makes more sense than Violet. The music, the electricity, the signal of stuff breaking. Turo being a robot, you know. That item has to be on top. No way I can get up there yet. Yeah, okay. What if there's like, down here there's the Arceus terrestrialization where it can be any type it wants to be at any given moment. Still haven't seen any Dawn Treads. Can I go which way? Pretty sure. Ooh, Dark Terra Shard. Pretty sure either way will take us down there. See, there's even something on top of that. Oh, we can't go this way. Ah, ah. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh no! Oh no! What? Where's my Pokemon? <laughs> There he is! Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm stuck here unless I defeat this thing. <laughs> that is so weird! Here comes a flower trick out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh my, look at all the Pokemon that spawned here. And not a single one is shiny. I got so scared against the... What? Wait, you can just walk on top of this? But it has things... No. Stupid deli bird. Ah! Wait, I saw. S There's a. What is that? I gotta catch it. Run, run, please. No, let me catch that thing. That's a high dragon. The future high dragon. High dragon. It looks smaller than a regular high dragon. Iron Jugulus. 
It used its booster energy? It comes with a booster energy? Wait, what? Oh, I killed it! No, I should have saved. Iron Jugulus. We're on top of a rock. Oh, come on. I should have saved. That's still a two-segmented form. Iron Jugulus. Give me another one of those, come on. What is it, like? There's another one, asking you shall receive. I'm saving this time. It's weaker too, so okay. Oh, perfect! Just don't use a recoil move. No way, it's that hard to catch. I don't have any status moves besides will o -Wisp. I need to see if Thunder Wave can be used on any of my Pokemon. Oh, cool. <laughs> I just didn't want that first catch. It was like, eh, whatever. I'll let you catch me. It's possible that Iron Jugulus, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. They really, it's dark flying. It's not even a dragon type. This is obviously based on high dragon. So high dragon in the future loses its dragon typing. Interesting. Oh, it's more of a special attacker. There's another one. If I was going to put it on my team, I'd try to get one with a better nature. Now they're super common. I guess it is a dark flying type, so they would be common. Wait, so this big crystal is not a door or a place. Oh wait, we're not even at the bottom yet. Hold on, hold on. That's a shiny. That's a shiny! Where, where'd you go? Oh! <laughs> That's 
a shiny iron bundle! <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> My first shiny... <laughs> Future Pokemon! <laughs> we need the paralysis, come on. It is so strong, holy crap. Give me a paralysis, come on. Faster, holy crap, it's strong. I don't want to hurt it too bad. Super effective, but we have enough defense. Okay, I'm gonna sh try chucking Pokeballs at it now. Let me just revive. Special attack is 124. 136 speed. Super high defense, but low special defense. Bruh. Dive ball, please. No, I need it in a nice shit. Oh, it's going to be faster again. Okay, good. This attack is not the best. Paralyze. Gosh dang it. These things are tough. I will I would use Ice Shard, but that might be too much. Let's try a dive ball again. Come on. Come on. No. No, not the Rocky Helmet. No. Okay, that worked. <laughs> I can't have it attack me again. Oh no, I... I know I saved, but still... <laughs> that was scary! Yeah, it would have killed itself. Iron Bundle! Oh, come on! <gasps> Critical Capture! Yes! Yes! My shiny! Iron Bundle! Oh! <sighs> Jelly bundle. Oh. Sorry, Don Treads. <gasps> no way.
What item would be best for it? Super strong I life orb on it, maybe. I think I'm going to give it to life orb. Use some candies on it. Let's get it to. Sixty three, at least. Agility. It's already super fast. That's helping hand. Oh, it's a neutral nature, too. That's good. Electric terrain. Yes. present don't have any flying type moves oh now we have two Two ice types on our team again. <laughs> but it's a shiny. Let's go for it. I can't believe that. Excuse me. How many shadow balls do I have? So much better to sort by name. Nobody can learn it, dang. Dang it. It's 
since my team isn't really ice, I'm wondering if I should just go rest. Nah. Can't believe that. <laughs> All the Pokemon stop here. There's none spawning behind us. Guess there's Glamora there. Dig Trio. Oh no. Oh my. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it! Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluffy. Fluff they write to fill the textbooks my phone my Appleton phone hello children you've done well to make it here the structure you see before you is the zero lab that's where you are right professor holy crap it's bright it has shiny apple in on the phone case But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building has been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate, there's a three-segmented dun-dun-dun sparse behind us. Oh my gosh. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to, area, to the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. Oh. They will likely make a break for freedom. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Oh, it's a... Terra... That's why they wanted us to have us four. It's a raid. It's a Terra raid. Prepare yourselves. Well, then open the gate. You've got me and Suzu here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Ha, huh, well, then that puts all my worries to rest. Let me get that three-segmented to Dunsparce if it's still there. I swear, that is three set. No, it's not. I was wrong. Unless I was seeing something else further away. Is this water? Oh, two of those... Glamora made it look like it was a iron jugular. Ghost Terra Shard. Bruh. Where are my friends? Oh no, did they disappear? Oh 
boy. It's time for a raid. Against another Miraidon? It's... It's electric. Dragon. Open the gate to the Zero Lab. You decided to press the button and open. Hold it! Huh? Why? We're finally able to... on the... We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of da really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Miraidon help? Yeah, if Miraidon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us write it ever since we came down to Area Zero, and it can't answer its battle form in this in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it, I'll be able to find its fa it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. I don't know. Go on, Suzu, let me ride on out. I want to say no. All right, come on, Suzu. Now that we've got Miraidon ready, it's time to open that gate. Or is it going to be a Koraidon? Oh no, <laughs> this is scary. Oh, it's up there. happening. Whoa, n no way. Uh-oh. No, something's off. Oh, the other one is just trying to go in there. Trying to go back home? Oh. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at me right on. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about a th worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe to toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to, if you know, if you want to. Yeah. So, sorry. Guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that? Other Miraidon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the professor warned us to watch out for. 
But didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out, come out from inside? You mean from inside the gates? We just... Uh-oh. What the? Oh my. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome, Matt. There's no way we can handle this many. Don't tell me. They're all future Pokemon. We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Suzu. Let's do this together. What? <laughs> We're gonna fight five po six Pokemon? One at a time? I know who to switch for this one. My own. Shiny Deli Bundy. It should have been Deli Bundy, not Deli Bundle. Yes! I saw that coming. I knew that was coming. They're level 64. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's just one. Well, they're strong. Now, this is worth a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Baby! Yeah, why are they coming at me? Suzu, help me out here. Can I catch it? This must be Iron Hands. It says Penny of Team Star. Perfect. Oh, it's fighting type still. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sylveon. Catch it. See, she's got this under control. Yeah, the future must be terrifying. Ah. Oh. They're running away! Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hand. On our hands. We gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> go, hold on, Nomona. Why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? Hope the two of them can handle their part. 
But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for this strong looking one first. Flying dark type. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. They really said it. Well, thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face that other one? Of your kind? Well then, let me take, s take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabostiff can ha take them. No, you can't. You're a dark type against three fighting type. So, Susie, you take your partner there and go take care of business. But, oh, come on. If you're not even going to rely on your friends, then who are you going to rely on? Now, Bostiff here is raring to go. Let this, leave this to us. But they're fighting type. You're right on. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers if you use, if you just use them. And you've got us too, so. So. So don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave. Stand up and fight. We don't even have a Master Ball yet. <laughs> when were we supposed to get a Master Ball? I guess we're not supposed to catch it. There's a lonely Dreepy in here! <laughs> It's like, welcome! <laughs> I don't think it was meant to be in there. Bruh. Oh, you can go back out? What? I had to check. <laughs> Is there still a Dreepy? No, the Dreepy's gone. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's another Dynamax Den. A uh, Dynamax Den. Mystic. Herba Mystica Den. Whoa. No way. I thought we were going through that. Then you see Turo right there. Is he dead? Looks like he's down. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Oh my gosh, is he old? No, he's still normal. Deactivating sleep mode. He is a robot. Hello, Suzu. Thank you for coming. Wow. 
No way. No. Back to your ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Miraidon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Tiro. I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. What it said in the book. The Violet Book. The, the fatal casualty. Or mortally mortal I forget what it said but you know what I mean the incident Wow is this the first time they're bringing up death in a Pokemon game the Pokemon was not to be blamed it was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the p professor wanted nothing more than for the Miraidon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Miraidon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to the Director Clavel, from the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you. I was never more than an AI. Never more than an AI, Suzu. Suzu, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. What? I thought we were gonna battle him here and now. Bruh! Oh, this is where I came came in from. Oh, they give you a bed. There's a Pokeball over there. I wonder if that's the Master Ball. Oh! This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Marvin should be the one here with us. Suzu, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? Let me ask all of them. As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for Sun for his son Arvin to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there any 
anything else you wish to ask? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there. And it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. What you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by the, this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream and a of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. Strange power. And this power has proved to too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. Wait, but if they're from the future, does that mean that they're only from the future because we brought them to the future? Because in the future, we are. Turo already brought them from the past. that makes sense. <laughs> At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free from this, free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. That's deep thinking you can't do. Believe me, I had to go through it when we went to the past in Endwalker, so you know. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystems of Paldea will be trampled beneath the coming. I may have been created as a copy of the professor and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Suzu. You have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the Dream Turo once cherish cherished. This ca task cannot be done without your strength. Please, I beg of you. We have reached the lowest level. Wow, they actually let you say no. Why would we say no? I'm trying to figure out why. My initial thinking is because then we wouldn't get to catch any, you know, shiny future Pokemon.
What? Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. No way. I was gonna say, spaghetti needs to be close to leveling up. Oh, it does let you go back. <laughs> well, we did tell him no, so you know. That's the end. We're done. Arvin! Let's see what they're up to. We gotta go tell Arvin. They're not here. Okay, then. Okay, I already feel bad about using you. I need to bring Dawn Treads back. Oh, he's fainted. <laughs> Oh, everything is sorted by name. Need it sorted by type. Wait, healing doesn't heal my Pokemon in the. Okay. Just the type matchups may was making me feel. Yeah. I like having variety, so. Having two of the same Pokemon type <laughs> didn't feel right. Bruh. Is that thing gonna be like Gigantamax Eternatus. Wait, so is Pokemon conspiracy it's conspiracy theorizing that What's in the actual area zero or whatever in IRL, real life, is actually a time machine? Oh, we have to talk to him. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. Oh, and Arvin gave it to us. It's just very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book, of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Violet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Oh, he's... Wow. He's programmed to stop anyone who tries to stop the time machine. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming.
Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Wait, he was just smiling hard for a second. Oh no. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. What if he has, like, Pokemon from my team and, like, Nimona's team and, and, uh, La Primera's team, Gita's team, and then a couple future Pokemon and then Miraidon. It'd be so crazy if he has a Miascarada, a Palmot, and then a Glimora, and then a future Pokemon. And Miraidon. This is it. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitiating. It is up to you now, Suzu. AI Taro switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. At, at last, at last my dream is within reach. And you're number seven gating in the way. And you're not getting in the way. He caught another Pokemon from the future. AI Turo has initiated a battle. Holy shite. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, Iron Moth. That's. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Holy, what's this music? I gotta hear it. Iron Moth. It's faster! Do you imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? This is the power the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? Gosh. I don't know they're typing. That's strong. It's 
not very effective. Oh no. Wait. Steel type into poison. Makes sense. It predicted? Oh no. I gotta heal. This is crazy. Fiery dance? Oh no. I am not prepared. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna get slapped. I should've swung in. I should've known I had a fire type move. Wait, it has a poison type move. I can't do this. Paralyze it, please. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, I need to use more candies. I'm gonna lose. It didn't use a fire move, why not? Gosh. I lose. I lived? How? We took out his first Pokemon, but he's taken out my entire team. Now this is interesting, child. Do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? Oh no. Iron Thorns? Iron Thornberries? Oh no. <laughs> Tyranitar. It's not effective. What is it? Oh, it missed. It missed. Okay, I shock then. That, that was neutral. Oh, oh, we're getting lucky. Obviously, we're not gonna win, <laughs> but... <laughs> Iron Jugulus. Flying Dark type, yeah, I have nothing. Done. No way. I'm not going to cheat and look up the typings either. What level was it? 66? Oh 
Why would I give money to the AI? <laughs> uh uh. Holy crap. Director Clavel and Professor Turo are the hardest bosses in this game. It has a fire move, that's right. Don't tread just goes straight down to it. Frick. Let's use some candies and then. That's enough. <laughs> Let's try it again. Wait, did I save? I will watch this cutscene multiple times, I don't even mind. This is... This game should have had voice acting so badly in it. Oh, come on. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not let, you know, about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. That's just hard to switch. If I use electric terrain, this is that's terrible. That'll help them out. I can't do that. Earthquake. Oh no, he he one shots me still. Do you imagine you can invest the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Oh, shoot.
This is the power of the distant future holds splendid, isn't it? Oh, sh I should have... Well, it, then it still uses... Poison type. Really, my only answer is T Titan. Yeah, it keeps using Sludge Wave. What? That is super effective. Now this is interesting, child. Do you actually understand future Pokémon's weaknesses? Shoot. It's the final battle. No reviving here. Let's just... I have to Ice Shard. I don't know if it's gonna do enough. It does. Okay, good. Iron Thorns. Okay. Sacred. We've got to burn it. I've got to burn it. Max pushing up, we need to switch into the Titan. Perfect. setting up the snow because iron jugulus holy crap still did a lot my defense is terrible but now I raised my defense and the snow at least leftovers liquidation yes miss is this still super effective? Is it a rock type? It is. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna take this chance to revive. We have max revives. He's almost out of stone edges. I think that was either his second to last or last. No, okay. So that's not stab, so... It doesn't hurt as bad. Yeah, he's out of stone edges now. I can ice shard. Iron Jugulus, we stay. I could have went into my doggo, but we have the snow up. Better keep with the, but it's special. Either way, I, I, I spinner. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got to switch after this. 
Unless, okay, I can ice shard. Ice shard. Perfect. Right when the snow stops as well. This is what I wanted out of Steel Titan. Iron Hands, the fighting type. Okay. Is it still steel type? Probably. Going into hot dog bun. He has master balls for every one of them. They really are like... They should have special Pokeballs for these Pokemon. Like they did for Beast Pokemon. What were they called? Because it was a Beast Ball, so... Forget. That's Fake Out! Are you kidding me? My defense is good as Hot Dog Bundle, so... It only does that much?! Holy crap! Oh no... You Thunder Punch? Hurry on, Jay, please. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and use that Revival Blessing. Perfect. We're faster than it, at least. Iron Bundle? It's water type. Ice water type. Nothing else besides spaghetti that can handle it. Surprised he's not using something else, since we've already seen Iron Bundle and Iron Treads. Oh, raising his defense, of course. Dang. What? Some sort of error has occurred here. Recalculating for critical damage. U turn. Wait, why would you use Snowscape again? Your AI is broken. Okay, is he gonna use Miraidon? If it's Miraidon, we need to tighten. Iron Valiant. Oh. Okay, we can't do it with him. Frick.
go back to spaghetti here. I thought we would have to fight Miraidon. Do we really catch the other Miraidon? Everything is proceeding within my expectations, I'm afraid. The probability of you winning is zero. It's a mix between... The booster energy was used up. Oh. Attack was heightened. Okay, we have to terrestrialize. It's a mix between Gardevoir and Gallade. I love it. Oh my gosh. That might be my favorite. It's not just Gallade, it's a combination. Spirit Break? Yeah, that's fighting type. Oh my goodness. I need a potion up. Or sacrifice someone. Which I really don't want to do. I might have to, though. Okay. We can get Rocky Helmet damage off at least. And then I can switch into Urianje, heal, and then we'll be able to attack again. Please tell me that takes care of. Yes, it does. Iron Rocky Helmet. Thank goodness. Oh boy. Okay, Arianne J. Let's heal. It's not a fighting type move. That must be like fairy or psychic. Wait, it wouldn't use a psychic move, so it has to be fairy. Holy crap, Iron Valiant. Looks like the best one. Oh, I should have used Foul Play. No! No! <laughs> Gosh. I impossible. <laughs> what could be the ace of Sada now? What could be the counterpart to Iron Valiant? That's so crazy. Suzu! Oh, I wanted a picture of them all. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? Arvin. I am not your father. Th thank you for everything the time machine has finally he has finally been stopped you're really not my dad are you oh look how you've grown so p proud of you might you might 
sorry you were alone for so so long uh, of that D dad system security failure system security failure threat to time to machine detected threat to time machine detected whoa, whoa, whoa. what's going on now is another army of Pokemon on its way here it cannot be an obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended activating paradise protection protocol to remove the offending obstacle what was keeping the time machine running all this time? Locking all Pokeballs except these registered. Oh! We can only fight! Gathering Terrasal energy. I I'm sorry, my children. This is too much for you. You must run. Oh! AI Turo disabled. Paradise Production Protocol initialized. We're only gonna be able to fight with... He is gonna use Miraidon. Against Miraidon. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by the pro Paradise Protection Protocol! <laughs> Yo! Ride on. It doesn't work. No. <laughs> it can only be. Can't battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true. Our Pokemon balls won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Right on. Would put everyone else in danger. Yeah, some crazy electrical signal is jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. You can't switch Pokemon. That's totally cheating! And you call yourself an adult? I mean, most adults cheat, yeah. That's reality for you. supposed to do oh <laughs> oh I love it <laughs> we can have seven Pokemon <laughs> Besides one Pokemon. It's gonna get its revenge. Holy crap! We get to do it!
Hard on in engine. Electric terrain. To energize its futuristic. Engine. We've already terrestrialized, though. Of course, they don't give us a dragon type move yet. Right on the Guardian of Paradise. I could have saved my Terrastalize until now. Use taunts, okay. Changed into its battle form. Let's go, Maraidon. Right you got this. You will fall here within this p garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles. It has charge. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Th this looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Suzu. My Terra type is Dragon. You were supposed to save your Terra Terrestrialize until now. That's what they wanted you to do. Dang it. Oh, I have a neutral nature. That's fine. Quirky. What is with all my Pokemon being quirky? Data, I, I say I am. The data say I am superior. The superior phone become a foundation upon which my dream may be built. What is that? You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. What? All oh, right. We've got to heal. Shoot. But I had to trastalize against Iron Valiant. Or else I would have been swept. Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. H hey, Suzu, your Terra Orb's glowing. Oh! Suzu, right on. Terrastalize and finish this off. What? Oh, we're not... Okay, they do give us the option. The chance now. Oh, this is the first time using it. Dragons are king. Whoa! <laughs> we did it. You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. You 
you did it! It's... It's not going berserk anymore. How... Oh. How oh, very astounding. To think that you had managed to defeat, defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness showing the wisdom to think for yourselves the courage to hold faith in your friends I love how even in sword and shield they ma make you battle with the legendary against the final boss basically and they did it here as well the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future you may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Suzu. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that endures, ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What, what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you your freedom. The way that you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength into bettering yourselves, throwing all, all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies, that, enemies to save that which you loved. It's emotional. The way that you never cease to seek, nor to fight, for a treasure on your own. Ah, uh, in the way that you soared free, soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure, above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I am not going, only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see the see that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You... you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Avin, Miraidon, Suzu. It is a little sad, but I am afraid this is goodbye. Dad! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu.
He's taking the book with him. How could you just go, Dad? Irvin, are you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name using his voice and wearing his face... Even if it was fake... It felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's... that's okay. I guess Muradon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form! How cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub, when it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Suzu and Miraidon just saved all of Paldea. You both did amazing. Thanks, Suzu. Yeah, that's my said bud Suzu for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Oh, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Suzu? You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Credits time. Hey everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really, it sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Suzu, not you too. Oh, fine. Alright, so I guess we're doing this. this song is the oh, copyright but whatever I don't care I'll talk over it I'll lower this Wow. Day one this game came out, there was already a mod made to remove Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, because of... Uh... What you call it? What is it called? Uh... Copyright? I don't care. Well, it might get caught by... I have to lower it. Or else...
else it's probably gonna mute on Twitch. Everyone has skipped the credits. I'm not skip. I don't skip credits regardless. I don't care. If it gets muted, whatever. I better put that in chat too. <laughs> I wonder what the post game is now. Oh. I'm putting things in chat just in case I get muted. I don't know what like uh, is it the best Pokemon game I don't know the Pokemon themselves were a little disappointing. They weren't the best. But the story, can you really beat it? I mean, you have three storylines. Like, what other Pokemon game makes you go on a journey of three Pokemon stories? Besides, like, gym leaders or trials or anything like that. <sighs> like, really? Okay, it's back to regular Pokemon music now. Obviously, I wish there were more Pokemon. I wish they had more new Pokemon because that's what I play. I always get bored around the final. Like, when it's coming up to the Pokemon League, I'm always a bit bored because there's no more new Pokemon to catch. Which is always a problem with Pokemon. They never know how to spread them out. Like, going up to the final Team Star person, it's like, all you have is a bunch of old Pokemon in that forest. Like, they couldn't throw in a new Pokemon in there? I think for every area that leads up to a main gym or boss or whatever should always have at least one new Pokemon. Oh, the end. <laughs> oh, it automatically saves for me, even if I have auto save off. Oh, boy.
Okay, I needed a minute to gather my thoughts. Calling students to the director's office. Miss Suzu, Miss Nomona, Miss Master Arvin, Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. I'm glad I got a trusted bond with, or close bond with Clavel before I did this. How to change Maridon's form. If you select Maridon while the main menu is open, you can now have it change between its battle form and its writing form. Wait, did I get any money from defeated Turo? <laughs> 68. I was right on par. I'm so happy about that. And I didn't even look that up. like the hero is finally here. Won't you join Miss join us, Miss Suzu? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern I have Turo's voice again. No need for concern you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Heh, <laughs> you've got us there. However, since this, since this was unnecessary, was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Miss Suzu, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. They all, we all, g there's four other legendaries. Oh my god. Once I find all of them, we're, I'm doing a stream for it so I can catch them on stream. But each one of them can catch one is what it means. One for each of us. Oh. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago, that gift is the one we bestow only to s upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. We got a Hall of Fame badge? Since when? I don't remember that. I expect you to honor what the, that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. Splendid! Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the Professor. You're my deepest condolences. 
Oh, well... Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now. For the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. And my boast, of, of course. Well said, Master Alvin. You truly are your father's son. Of course I might must remind you that you no one near enough credits to graduate. You'll need to study frantically to catch up when I have every expectation for your success. What? And let us not forget about forget the other good news. Our Academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your your valiant deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, your new champion rank at, rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, could we not? Classic Nimona. The Pokemon battle contest, you say? Well, your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona. I think that's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond this. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, I couldn't help but over here. Oh, it is Gita. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. Look, Mia! Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young, up-and-coming talent. Though that's not to say the only the youth have promised when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex, this academy clearly counts. Many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. Wait, a former gym leader? Who's that? As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Oh, we get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too, right, Premier? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the as the of the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the in invitation, champion Nomona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aw, can't you free up sometime somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Suzu would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Suzu. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming? to achieve champion rank? Or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this else out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you, you'll find any cracks in their armor, but well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for your first appearance as a new champion, since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection. I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength, 
I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss this with, discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I missed that I was just gonna binge. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. She did agree to it. God, I mean, I'll d do it. I'll help. Let me help. Hold on, there's some random noise going on. Oh, it's in my headphones. I was like, there's something going on outside. Excellent. We'll leave it. Leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. <laughs> this is awesome, Suzu. Show this inspection thing who's boss so that La Premiera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're, while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion, inspecting gyms. Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Guess my role is so so obvious it goes without saying literally oh so that's our what wait It still says I'm at the Great Creator. Poor Arvin doesn't get a roll because he has co-work. Aren't we at Mesa Goza, but it's still saying we're at the Zero Gate? So we gotta go battle against Larry first. Oh no. I wonder if they're all the same level. see what their levels are and then we'll probably do the post game Le Larry is the best gym leader I agree I like him as well I think I'm gonna get back into God of War since we finished main storyline I'm gonna keep all my Pokemon at their levels that they are now And then, I'll come back to this some other day. I'll probably just shiny hunt in the meantime. Or I'll start Scarlet. Since I want to do like a... A pink... Um, pink shiny Pokemon thing going with Scarlet. I need to buy it still, but you know. And I think I need to what you call it, um, breed for a Foy Coco first since it's shiny as pink.
I wonder when Pokemon Home is going to open up for this game. Shiny Deli Bundy. I need to change your name to Deli Bundy. Oh! Muridon cannot be put in a box. Can only be ridden or put in your team. Interesting. What are Maridon's? Wait, let's change the nickname. Deli Bundy. I can't believe I caught a shiny Deli Bundle. Iron Bundle. I really like that they have you go through the whole game with the legendary. You actually build a bond with it that entire time. I love it. Oh, so you are supposed to use Endure at some point. And I used it at the right time, unless... The AI just knows that you're going to use Endure. You can still ride Miraidon. Oh. You can't. Still, like, they never explained how you can have seven Pokemon at once. Kind of wish they explained that. Just getting a shiny hunting team together. Get to zero sub. Deli Bundy. <laughs> I need to take the... That. How much money do I have after all that? Not as much. Anyway. Wait, let's go back to Area Zero and we'll sign off. 
Wait. Oh, that's... I want to fly. Can you actually fly down into it now? That's different from usual. You can. That's how you do it. Oh, you see that? What? what, what don't go too high. Get back down here. I'm going to catch you else. There's more. Oh, I can. You're too high up now. Iron hands are just here as well. Come on down, come on. Well. They're not going to come down. Anyway. Oh, wait. You know I can't get up there. Yeah. There we go. Thank you and good night, everyone.